Dr. Gold Black here and welcome back to another uh, Dr. Who video. Uh, today in this video I'm going to be unboxing yet another Lost TV Episodes uh, collection box set. Uh, this time I'm going to be unboxing collection 2, which is really exciting because um, the Savages and the Celestial Toymaker, which are in this box set, are the last two Doctor Who stories I need to experience um, from the 1960s era, which is awesome. So yeah, so I've almost listened to all of the uh, 1960s, or experienced all of the 1960s Doctor Who stories, which I'm really happy to say. There we go, you can see part of it. <laughs> okay then. Do 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 Okay then, with a lot of fumbling. Uh, I finally managed to get the box open. Uh, you can see the box set in there. And one of the um, discs sounds to be loose, which is not that good, but uh, anyway, here we go. Lost TV Episodes Collection 2. So, yeah. So, let me just quickly. Uh, tear the shrink wrap off and then I'll showcase the box and then all of the CDs. I reckon it's going to be one of the Daleks Masterplan discs that uh, is loose. Um, yeah, so here's a look at the front of the box set. Uh, uh, spine of the box set which contains images from the stories in this box set. Uh, same with the other spine. Uh, then there's the top, which uh, this is what it contains the Daleks Master Plan, uh, the, the Massacre, the Celestial Toy Maker, and the Savages. It also includes bonus uh, interview disc with the lost episodes. Uh, then there's the bottom of the box, it's 12 CDs, and its running time is 10 hours and 20 minutes of box in total. So then let's take a little look at the CDs themselves. There we go, there they are. Uh, so let's start off with, uh, of course, the Daleks Master Plan. And yep, that, I reckon that is a Daleks Master Plan disc that is loose. Uh, let me just do a bit of. There we go. So let's fold these flaps in. There we go, there's the box. Now let's take a look at all of the CDs. Starting off, of course, with this beautiful thing right here, the Daleks Master Plan. Okay then, so here's a look at the front of this release of the Daleks Master Plan. Uh, the spine, uh, the other spine, and then the back. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, then you've got a cropped version of the image up here. Um, I really don't like Maverick Chan's head though, it's a bit spooky. Um, Doctor the Daleks Master Plan, 5 CDs and its running time is 5 hours and 20 minutes of box. The Daleks threaten to destroy the fabric of time itself in this exclusive recording of an epic lost adventure starring William Hartnett with Lincoln narration by Peter Purvis. We at this table pledge our allegiance to the Dalek cause, our army to reduce the galaxies to ashes, the people, their people to dust, and earth we will conquer first. That's a quote from Mission City Unknown, uh, spoken by Malfa, I believe. 
which is one of the alien delegates from this story. Uh, in their quest to gain control of the solar system, the Daleks have taken possession of the Time Destructor, a weapon which threatens the safety of all who stand in their way. They have formed an alliance with the outer galaxies, all of them bent, destroying, uh, bent on destroying the human race, and called a council of delegates to the planet Kemble. In the midst is none other than Mavic Chen, treacherous guardian of the solar system. When the TARDIS, uh, when the Doctor learns the extent of the Dalek's plan, he steals the Terranium Core which powers the weapon. Together with two agents of the Space Security Service, the TARDIS crew is pursued across time and space. Shockingly, not all of them will escape their lives. Also included in his Mission to the Unknown, a single episode teaser, uh, which sets the scene for this incredible 12 part adventure. Bonus interviews include uh, bonus interviews with Peter Purvis and PDF files of the original camera scripts. So let's take a look at the innards. So you've got CD1, which contains Mission to the Unknown. Then behind here, we have CD2, which contains the first three episodes of the Daleks' Master Plan. <coughs> uh, then here you've got CD3, which contains the episodes 4, 5, and 6 of the Daleks' Master Plan. Then here you've got CD4, which contains episodes uh, 7, 8, 9, uh, episodes 7, 8, and 9 of the Daleks' Master Plan. Then here you've got CD5, which contains episodes 10, 11, and 12 of the Daleks' Master Plan. And then here we've got uh, an advertisement for some audiobook exclusive releases. And then, we'll just pop that back in. And let's take a little look at the booklet itself. Uh, so yeah, very nice. It's very smooth and glossy. Uh, so yeah, a bit about Mission to Unknown, the Daleks' Master Plan, bonus material. Oh, this one uh, appears CD1 on this specific release contains bonus material. Then there's the track listings. Uh, there are 13 episodes in this uh, CD case in total. Mission to the Unknown, uh, episode, The Daleks Master Plan, Episode 1, The Nightmare Begins, Episode 2, Day of Armageddon, Episode 3, Devil's Planet, Episode 4, The Traitors, Episode 5, Counterplot, Episode 6, Coronas of the Sun, Episode 7, The Feast of Stephen, Episode 8, Volcano, Episode 9, Golden Death, Escape, Episode 10, Escape Switch, and Episode 11, The Abandoned Planet, and my favourite episode of Doctor of all time, Episode 12, The Destruction of Time. So there's the Daleks Master Plan. I just set that beautiful thing right over there. <clears throat> then next up we have uh, The Massacre or The Massacre of St. Bartholomew's Eve. So there's a look at the front, uh, the spine, and I've experienced this story in Reconstructions. I um, thought it was pretty good. Uh, then there's a look at the back. Doctor Who The Massacre is running time, it's got two CDs and it's running time is 1 hour and 40 minutes. William Hartnell is the original Doctor and it's exclusive, exclusive audio recording of a lost BBC television soundtrack. At dawn tomorrow this city will weep tears of blood. Which is a quote from the story. Uh, the TARDIS materialises in Paris of, in 1572, a time of great danger and religious strife, whilst the Doctor pays a visit to a famous apo apo uh, that word uh, Charles uh, Preslin. Stephen is befriended by a group of Protestants who come from the household of Admiral de Clungy. Uh Meanwhile the Catholic Queen Mother uh, Catherine de Medici aided by uh, the hatred dignity of the Abbot of Ambrose. Sorry for pronouncing any of this wrong. Well. Um, Blitz is hatching a plot to kill all French pod Protestants, starting with the Colony. Uh, worrying, worryingly for Stephen, the Abbot bears an, an uncanny resemblance to the Doctor. Uh, and when the plot fails and the Abbot is condemned to death, he's even more alarmed. Was that the, was that the Doctor being killed, or does the Abbot just look like him? The four episodes of this 1966 story no longer exist in the BBC Television archives. The audio exclusives uh, has taken the soundtrack and with Lincoln and Richard McPeter Furfus, the whole fun adventure is brought back to life. So there's a look at CD1 which contains uh, the first two episodes. Uh, and then here it contains the final two episodes, so it's a four parter. And then there's a look at uh, the an advertisement for the, the Demon Quest Tom Baker audiobook. Uh, saga. So then let's take a look at the innards of the booklet. 
So there's a look at the cover image again. Uh, there's a bit about the production of the massacre and a bit about the program. See ya. So then there is four episodes in this set: the War of God, the Sea Beggar, Priest of Death, and Bell of Doom. Uh, and then there's a lovely still image from the story. Uh, the Dalek's master plan contains uh, three has survi three surviving episodes out of the twelve, and various uh, clips uh, surviving from it. Uh, some from uh, all clips from episodes all. All of the clips being from the first four episodes. The massacre, however, has no surviving footage, no clips, no episodes, not even a frame of footage exists in the archives of this uh, story, which is quite sad. Um, then moving on to the apparently quite racist, uh, the Celestial Toy Maker. Um, so as I look at the front, the spine. And like I said, this is this and the Savages are the only two 1960 Doctor Who stories that I've still yet to experience. And then there's a look at the back. Doctor Who the Celestial Toy Maker, two CDs and its running time is 1 hour and 40 minutes. William Hartnell stars as the first Doctor in this classic four episode story from 1966, which pits the TARDIS crew against one of the most powerful enemies they have ever encountered. You will become my per perpetual opponent. We shall play endless games together. Your brain against mine. The travellers arrive in a dangerous uh, domain of the toy maker, where their failure to win at a series of games could result in them becoming his playthings for eternity. Apparently innocuous uh, nursery characters reveal deadly intent, and for companions Stephen and Dodo, the stakes are raised and, and with every game of blind, ma blind man's buff and musical chairs. The Doctor, meanwhile, is rendered invisible and given the challenge of completing the fiendishly difficult trilogic game. Uh, the, this fondly remembered story, only one episode of which survives in television archives, and that's all that survives in the archives, just episode 4, no clips. Um, it's directed by Peter Purvis, who also played Stephen in this story. Michael Goff is the toy maker, and Jackie Lane is Dodo. Whilst uh, Car Carmen Silvera adopt a number of roles. So there's a look at CD1, which contains the first two episodes. And then there's CD2, which contains the final two episodes. And there's an advertising of some more audiobooks released by the BBC. Then there's a look at the booklet. about the program and a bit about its production. Then here, as you can see, it's got four episodes. Uh, Celestial Toy Room, The Hall of Dolls, The Dancing Floor, and The Final Test, which is the surviving episode from this story. Uh, and then there is a nice still image from the story. <coughs> Moving on to The Savages. So there's a look at the front, the spine, and then the back, uh, the Sav Doctor the Savages, uh, two CDs, and its running time is one hour and forty minutes. And might as well say it now: uh, this story has no surviving episodes whatsoever. However, it does have some um, and no footage whatsoever, as far as I know, exists from the first three episodes. However, I think that yeah, there is some uh, fan recordings of some. Uh, Clips from the climax of episode 4, um, such as uh, Stephen's departure, because this is his departure story. Uh, William Hartnell starts as the first Doctor in this explicit recording of a lost television adventure. We have reached a distant horizon of an age of peace and prosperity. When the TARDIS materialises on an alien planet, the Doctor insists that he and his companions have arrived in the far future. Stephen and Dodo think otherwise, however, after they encounter a band of cave-dwelling primitives who are terrified of strangers. The travellers soon discover that the planet's population is divided into two ca uh, cases, uh, whatever that word is, uh, and that the possessed idol of elders who inhabit a technologically advanced city uh, seems oddly dependent on the uh, unsophisticated savages. Whilst the elders' leader Jano uh, welcomed the Doctor into their society, 
Dodo Stone rules upon a dark secret at the heart of the community. Uh, the truth uh, uh, behind the Elder's great knowledge is eventually revealed. As the Doctor sees it's his duty to end a terrible case of exploitation. <clears throat> Yet Jenna has plans for uh, has plans of his own for the Doctor. With the Doctor's faithful companion Stephen discovering the events on this planet uh, will ir irrevocably shape his destiny. The Savages marks the final appearance in the program of Peter Purvis. He provides a link narration for this release. <clears throat> then there's CD1, which contains the first uh, four episodes. And then there is um, CD2, which contains the final four episodes. And then there's a look at um, uh, some audiobook releases. These two look awesome, and they probably are because it's Daleks Master Plan. Um, this, I believe, is the first Doctor Who story to have one overarching title and not to have any individual named episodes, which is quite interesting. So, there's a look at the booklet. As you can see, it is a four parter. And then there's a nice little image from the story. If you want to the final little part in this video. Oh shit, I just noticed that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the case for my Celestial Toy Maker audio is cracked. Or the hinge part of it, can you see that? Just there. Ah, shit. Um, anyways, moving on to the final part of this uh, unboxing is the documentary that's uh, in this box set. Uh, so then there's a look at the spine, and then the back. Doctor Who, the lost episodes. Uh, one CD and its running time is 55 minutes. What happened to the 108 now 99? Uh, uh, well, probably less than that uh, by now. Um, missing episodes of Doc 2 from the uh, 1960s. Sean Lay investigates in this edition of Archive on 4. In this hour long program from broadcast on BBC Radio 4, Sean uh, Lay investigates why the original film and video recordings of 108.2 episodes were white and how dedicated fans have hunted down copies of other episodes and film collections from Cyprus to New Zealand. He also learns how home recordings ensured that the audio soundtracks of the missing episodes survived and how they formed the basis of the last TV episode's audio collection. Featuring contributions from uh, archive experts Mark Ayers, Sue Moulding, Peter Scorns and Paul Vanies. Paul Vines, uh, actors Paulie Collins, Bernard K, Deborah Watling, and Peter Purvis. Home recorders Graham Strong and Audio Go commissioning editor Michael Stevens. This is a fascinating look of treasures uh, lost and treasure regained. So let's take a look at the CD. This contains an advertisement for some audiobooks, uh, including Sarah Jane ones, which is interesting. And this is literally just a piece of paper, as you can see. It's not a booklet at all, it's just uh, this. And that pretty much concludes my unboxing of Doctor Who, the Lost TV Episodes Collection 2. And considering this is a good point, I will briefly uh, go over my opinions on uh, the Lost uh, TV episodes or the lost episodes and um, what I think is been recovered um, very briefly um, because this is a good time since I'm unboxing uh, some uh, lost stories. Um, I personally think there has been six Doctor Two stories recovered at most. Um, to us Whovians, the last Doctor Who recoveries were the enemy of the world in the web fear. These were actually recovered, it's apparent that these ep stories were actually recovered all the way back in 2011. Uh, 
and at that time the writers of new series Doctor Who was actually informed of these episode recoveries, uh, meaning that the appearance of the Great Intelligence in uh, the Series 7 Christmas special, uh, The Snowman, was not a coincidence. So uh, if we were to think that uh, it may have been applied that other lost uh, Doctor Who stories have been recovered and little Easter eggs were um, hinted at and they were kind of uh, hinted at or referenced in new series Doctor Who uh, stories like the Web of Fear was in like the Web of Fear was referenced to in uh, The Snowmen uh, I think we may have found a lot of uh, really good Doctor Who stories uh, I think Marco Polo is recovered because it was reconstructed in An Adventure in Time and Space. Uh, I think the Daleks' master plan is actually recovered because there was a very similar scene uh, to its scene which was Operation Inferno to the scene from Series 8 Episode 10 in The Forest of the Night where basically both stories had a scene, both of which involving uh, a jungle burning down or people or machines. Uh, burning down the jungle using some sort of flame-throwing equipment. Uh, I think the Seventh Planet is recovered because that was reconstructed in an adventure in time and space also. I think the Power of the Daleks is recovered because that was referenced to in Victory of the Daleks. I think Evil of the Daleks is recovered because there is a very uh, maxable uh, look-alike character uh, in Series 8, Episode 9, Mummy on the Orient Express. And I also think the invasion is recovered uh, because uh, A, that was the head of a Cyberman from that story was glimpsed in Death in Heaven, um, Series 8 finale, and then also in that two-parter, uh, the iconic scene of the Cybermen marching down uh, the stairs outside St. Paul's Cathedral was recreated. So, and that's why I think um, Marco Polo uh, the Daleks Master Plan, the Tenth Planet, uh, the Power of the Daleks, uh, the Evil of the Daleks, and the Invasion have been recovered. Uh, but anyway, so that pretty much concludes my unboxing of the Lost TV episodes uh, and a brief theory on the missing episodes. Um, so yeah, so, so like, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Pitch Gold Black, the Materializing.